Focus on your breath. Try to be with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And put some effort into this. Otherwise, the mind's just going to start to wander away and nothing new will happen. But if you stay with the breath, then the mind develops some strength. The strength of concentration, the strength of mindfulness. We live by strength of mind. Of course, we have to depend on strength of body, but as you can see, strength of body doesn't last forever. For most of us, we take it for granted that you can just sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, no problem. But then after a while, the body doesn't follow in line with what you want to tell it to. It doesn't have the strength anymore. And that's when you're going to have to depend total, totally on strength of mind. So what do you have to do to build that strength? Well, meditation is one of the things. And also being virtuous is another. By adhering to the precepts, you don't do anything that harms anybody. If you know that you harm somebody, that's a wound in your mind. It saps your strength. So you practice virtue, you practice concentration, try to develop discernment. So you can see where you're causing yourself unnecessary suffering, placing unnecessary burdens on you, on yourself. And that way you can manage your strength and also increase it. Because we're born into this world. We have don't have many treasures to our name. You look at a baby's hands, there's nothing in the baby's hands. But the baby does have the body, and the baby has a mind. And pretty soon it's going to gain speech. So those are our treasures. Body, speech, mind. And it's by investing those treasures in the right way that we develop strength of mind. Because eventually you're going to have to let go of your body, let go of your speech, and then the mind is what goes to the next life. So you want to make sure that it's well fashioned, it's well cared for. It's got the strength it needs to keep on doing good. Otherwise, it, even though it may know what's good, if it doesn't have any strength, it says, well, I can't do that, I can't do this. You see a lot of people just cutting off their own feet this way by saying, well, I, I can't really do the good I know I should be doing, but I just don't have the strength. You've got to take what you've got, the resources that you have, and invest them so that you do have that strength. And that way that the strength of mind can carry you through. Because when the body goes, it really goes. But the mind doesn't disappear with it. The mind goes on to its next station. So what, what is it going to take with it? Well, it's going to take the strength that it developed in this lifetime. So try to develop a lot of strength. Focus your attention on strength of mind. There's so much talking about strength in your body, but it's strength of mind that really makes all the difference. <laughs>